Hi everyone, welcome again to Cynthia's Culinary Corner. I want to tell everybody a big hello in the community, especially happy, healthy valley. Today we're continuing our second segment to back to school. We're going to just make something really fun, fun and nutritious. And more than that, something that the children can make at home, the kids of all ages, even big ages like us at home with their family and friends. It's just wonderful. It's easy to make. You just need some nuts, a few ingredients, and a bowl, and lots of fun, okay? This is also very healthy because we're choosing nuts that are heart healthy. We have walnuts, we have some pecans, we have almonds, we have pistachios, we have sunflower seeds, we have pumpkin seeds. Now remember, the fun thing about making your own granola is that you can put the nuts you like. We're gonna have some oatmeal, maple syrup, a little bit of oil, and brown sugar. You know everyone, I like dark brown sugar. Why? There's more flavor, and it's more moist. So it's gonna just hold better together, especially when you bite into that granola. It's gonna be just a big pop. So let's get started, let's have some fun, okay? What we're gonna do is, we're gonna put three cups of oatmeal in a bowl. <coughs> And this is what I like, that it's just real simple. Real simple to do. You don't, you don't need um, a lot to make this. Just some bowls and a few items that you like. Now remember, you can make the granola the way you like. After it comes out of the oven, which I'll be showing you, you can add chocolate chips, you can have coconut, you can add dried fruit, mango, pineapple, banana chips, raisins, cranberries. It's really up to you. But this one is kind of basic, okay? So we're gonna put our cups in here. Put one more. So it's three cups of old-fashioned oatmeal, okay? Not the, the quick oats. Old fashioned, because we want it to bake really nice. And then everything else is about half a cup to a cup of the nuts. So we got some pistachios in there. We have our almonds, which are really filling. Remember, all of this has protein, plant-based protein. We're gonna do our pecans, our walnuts, and what we do is we just put everything in a bowl and we already preheated the oven to 300. So that's getting warmed up for us. Okay, so we got all that in there. Then you just kind of mix them together just to make it a little, even it out. And now we're gonna put our oil, it's half a cup. It can be olive oil, canola oil. I like the mix, the blend, I like both of them. So we're gonna do half a cup of that. And what you wanna do is you want it to be eye level. Okay, there's half a cup. And the oil is heart healthy as well. And you want to just drizzle it all around. So there really isn't that much oil in it. And then maple syrup, three-fourths of a cup. Put some of that in there. And it's, this is just easy to do. Okay, you got your oil your, and your maple syrup. Also remember to, to drizzle it all around. That way it gets dispersed evenly. Okay, and then we have our half a cup of dark brown sugar. There. Okay, and then you just mix. You're gonna need something a little more firm so you have a different type of spoon available. You see, you just mix all that in there. And then to kind of cut the sweetness a little bit, 
you just add about a half a teaspoon of salt. And that gets really nice and wet. It almost looks very good just to eat, just like that. I can smell all the nuts. This will be something that you all can enjoy doing together. And then a pinch of salt. Just add a little bit. You can always add more salt afterwards. That's the beauty about this. You cannot go wrong with putting a lot of good things in a bowl, mixing them, and then you just put them in the oven. So what I'm gonna do is, we're gonna get ready to put this in a cookie sheet on parchment paper so it won't stick, and we'll put it in the oven. So come on and follow me. You see everyone how easy that was? Very easy to make and it's just three steps. One, two, three. Get your ingredients together, mix it in a bowl, pop it in the oven, and then it's ready to go for the week. So thank you again. I hope you can enjoy this recipe. It will be available to everyone. And send me some messages to see how it comes out. And we always have to end with a voila. Mm -hmm.